Hey everybody, Zagard here. So this is part two of a two-part video, so if you haven't seen part one yet, please go check that out first. This is also going to have everything in the show spoiled, so if you haven't watched the show yet and don't want anything spoiled, please stop watching here. Again, this is a spoiler video for Blood of Zeus on Netflix. If you're still here after knowing all this, then I guess you want to stay. So I'll stop rambling now and let you enjoy the video. And we're back. Okay, so we're in spoilers now. Uh, Claire had to head out, so... Yeah, um, she has to work out before it gets too Yeah, late. she's got to do stuff, and according to her, she pretty much said everything she wanted to say anyway, so... And we're going to get into spoilers, so... Yeah, um... So the okay, first I'm, spoiler I'm, I'm sure... is that he's the son of Zeus. Yeah, he's the son of Zeus. Oh my wow, God. who saw this coming in a show called Blood of Zeus, yeah. if where everyone didn't... calls the main character a bastard? Yeah, if you <laughs> didn't see that coming from the trailer or the title, you were well, not The trailer straight up tells you. Oh, yeah, that no, he's it does. The son I, of Zeus. I saw it coming from when I heard the title. Remember yeah, 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 in the trailer of... reaction, I freaking called it. <laughs> like, um, all right, so... You know, I'll bet everyone's dying to know what the hell Heron does that pissed us off so much. Okay, um, and also the way this thing was created was a yeah, little weird, Yeah, it's two too. things that piss us off it's, about it, and it, then it leads to something that pisses us off even more. Okay, so Zeus, um, one thing I kind of like is there's this old man who's who's been helping Heron and his mother out their whole lives, and it turns out that old man was Zeus. I'm like, okay, that that's kind of cool. Yeah, and he had to um, pretend to be an old man so that way yeah. Hera wouldn't f notice him and wouldn't kill the two of them right away. Yeah, Hera's the big villain in this. Yeah, she doesn't um, start off, but then she quickly becomes it. You kind of see the descent into it. She's one of the it's, more developed gods. Yeah, she's um, one of, and the other thing is, um, just as a exp uh, quick explanation, over the town they live in, there's this, like, cloud fog. And it's Zeus hiding them from Hera. Yeah, yeah. Zeus put a cloud over the town where they are so Hera wouldn't be able to find and them, which is the why they can never leave this town even yeah. though they want to because everyone treats them like crap, which makes you not feel bad at all when the village gets yeah, wiped out. when the village out. gets wiped out, you're like, fuck them. Yeah, when, they got, when they got killed, I said, good. <laughs> I think I have his reaction from going, I hate all of you. Yeah, they were, it was... It yeah, was, they were not good people. It was funny. Um, yeah, they were they were garbage. Like literally, people. there's one. The guy, one decent woman in the town got stabbed through the face. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, there's like one, like literally in the first episode, he's carrying this cute, like this giant bag of ore. Gives it to a guy, and the guy's like, "Here," and he drops two coins on the floor. Doesn't even put them on the table or hand them. He's like, "This is how much you get, you." Bastard. You're lucky I do business with you at all. Yeah. If I was Heron, I'd just take that ore and be like, fuck off. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I guess they're desperate, though. You know, yeah, um, just whack him over the head I mean, with part, it. I, I get, <laughs> they're, so they don't deserve to be, um, uh, 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 what's the word, redeemed for it. But they do, They it, part of it is explained that they think that... And it's hard to say you don't deserve to be redeemed because you have to actually redeem. Well, no, redeemed. yeah. But, like, but, you, you, you don't care to see them redeemed, I, I, um, I would think. To be, like, uh, to be a little fair, I'm going to play devil's advocate. They do think that all this ba a bunch of bad stuff started happening to them ever since the clouds appeared above the They think the, the town. cloud is a bad omen, yeah, and, and it came with Heron and his mother. But so, we yeah. know later that it's because Zeus is actually protecting them. Okay, um, we're, we're going a little off the what Heron did subject. Oh, I'm God, sure people yeah. are infuriated by now. Sorry, um, so I basically, ADHD Zeus, here. Um, yeah, like, I, I have ADD too, so. No problem. Um, but yeah, so Zeus um, wants to prepare Heron for the big war mm. coming up. So he has Heron climb up a huge mountain. And while he was climbing up the mountain, we were singing, you know, I am on my but way. Wait. I can go. Copyright. These... Yeah. Um, um, he gets to the top. He gets this really special type of uh, metal or ore or... or whatever it is. And yeah, he brings it um, to Zeus. He doesn't know this is Zeus. He brings it to and, the old man. Yeah, he brings it to old man Zeus. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to call his disguise old man Zeus. He brings it to old man Zeus and he's like, what's even the point of this ore? It's not malleable. And old man Zeus goes, well, it is if you know about steel. If you know which, the secrets yeah, of steel. Because back then, as you pointed out, the yeah, people didn't know about steel. But Zeus space. is a god, so he would know this stuff. Um, and then, so old man Zeus builds him a celestial, unstoppable, can cut through anything, anything glowing, sword. magical, laser beam, lightsaber sword. It's literally, I'm not took, exaggerating. Yeah, literally, it's a, if, I'll, if you, I'll get to hell. If you took <laughs> the sword from Lord of the Rings that, um, what's his name, Frodo has. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, Sting is yeah, the name if you have, If you took Sting 
Uh, added it with Aragon's Blade from the Aragon books, yeah, uh, if you read Bra those. Brazinger. If you took Sting, merged it with Brazinger and Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, you would have this sword. Yeah, this sword is fucking... This, is, this is the fantasy movie sword. It's, yeah. <laughs> like, it's like the most MacGuffin-y MacGuffin of all MacGuffins. It, it can apparently cut through literally anything, and e they even say this later, it can cut through even the things built by Hephaestus. I was like, bull yeah, yeah, bullshit! Shit. Hephaestus is the god oh. of Smith and Metalwork. It was already pissing me off that it was Zeus who made this thing and yeah. not Hephaestus. And now they're saying it's better than yeah, what Hephaestus can make? Bull! So as shit. soon as we saw that and, item, and, we were annoyed, because like, Zeus made it, not Hephaestus. But, but we were also, like, we were also like, well, it looks really cool. Like, I remember you were like, that looks really yeah, cool. Yeah, it looks like, really cool. And I was excited I, to see I, how he used it. I was like, If okay. I could have, like, a version of that, I'd be... Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold it's on. just an alarm. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So, um, yeah, like, I, I would probably buy that as a cosplay sword or something. Um, because it looks really cool. Um, but, uh, but here's, um, here's the, and yeah, you're telling me Zeus can smith better than Hephaestus. Here's the thing, like, I was so excited to see it in action because it's like, oh, th they've established that demons are hard to cut yeah, through, right. this'll cleave them down, no problem. But around that time, Heron finds out the truth about who his father is. He finds out that old man Zeus is Zeus. That sounded like the weakest twist old ever, but Zeus, <laughs> is, Zeus is the old man. So he knows this old man who just built the sword for him mm -hmm. is his father Zeus, and he's mad at Zeus for abandoning him. He's and like, his "You never so helped us," even though he always like, helped. Like, even them. though it turns out he even says himself early on, "That old man was always helping us. Where was Zeus?" And then he figures out, "Wait a minute, the old man is Zeus." Well, fuck him! Yeah, he's like, <laughs> and Zeus kept us poor. I, I, I get why he'd be mad at Zeus yeah. still, but he just listed all the things Zeus literally did Yeah, that's what makes it annoying. It's like, wait, so hold you up. would think he would be... You know what I think would be better? Like, conflicted about it. Like, measuring. Like, but, like he's like, what? Would, like, he could ask himself, what was the point in being there for us if you weren't going to tell us the truth or something? But no, he's just mad. He's like a teenager throwing a fit. And he sees this sword, this incredible, amazing sword, and he yes. yeets it away. He's he, like, fuck you, sword. He just goes, fuck this sword. Fuck this incredible freaking reality breaking weapon that's somehow better than what Hephaestus can make and it like lands in a stone like it freaking like sword, sword in the stone, stone. we both said that and we the... were all like oh god are they gonna do that they don't do that they don't do that they, they don't do that I, I don't know if that makes it better or worse I know I was so expecting I was like are we going into Arthurian legend now and then here's we, the we've already part. got demons from Christianity in a Greek mythology oh, yeah, weird <laughs> when, which is weird very about much that sword. similar to Moses so he throws it away <laughs> and not only does he throw it away but it feels like the show forgot about it because for two episodes nothing happens yeah, with it they bring up the sword later and you were like I forgot about it so yeah, I legit <laughs> forgot about it. And, and he, he gets even worse now because the villain goes and yeah. gets the goddamn so sword. Uh, so that whole intro story about the giants, it turns out that uh, Hermes put the giants' souls in an urn, and then they put that urn in the ocean. Yeah, and then they that, put, that's the soul thing with Hermes, yeah, and where then we they said had, Hermes is a big uh, Is it Tantel? Who's the no, they, um Okay, so they, they after they beat the giants, they put their souls in um, a cauldron. They call What's, it a cauldron, but it's more it's more like an urn box yeah, It's more like thing. a... I thought it's it was a container. They put it in a damn container. I thought it was going to be Pandora's box. Yeah, I thought no. that too. I thought, oh yeah, that would be cool. It would be inaccurate, but it would be a nice little... But they didn't do that. So they, they put the urn underground, underwater, guarded by Talos, the giant robot made by Hephaestus. The or thing automaton. Is, yeah, it's it's a giant, it's the biggest automaton he's ever made, the size of a skyscraper. Which he is huge in this. So. Yeah, they, they, they make him huge in this. He's the robot looking thing in the trailer that I thought was Ares. Um, <clears throat> so, um, the, Talos is guarding the souls of the giants. And they say, apparently, this Talos is so well built, nothing can cut through it. Nothing. Because it was built by Hephaestus. It's his magnum opus. What oh. can cut through it? A sword Zeus made. Yeah. Which annoys me. And then Hera but, tells the so, main villain to get that sword. Yeah, because Hera wants to kill Zeus because she's busy. She tells the main villain, get the sword, use it to cut through Talos, use it to get the giant souls, use it to raise the giant... So... Freaking all of that horrible, horrible shit happens because Heron had to fucking throw this sword. Yeah. And that made me so mad. <laughs>
There were literally like three other times he could have gotten the sword. Yeah, too. there were times he could have gotten it back. There are times when it's in the water, he doesn't go for it, the villain grabs it again. And there's a time when Zeus wants to talk to the main mm. villain, so he actually comes to the main villain while he's asleep, wakes him up, the villain throws a weapon at Zeus, and Zeus just telekinesis it out of the way. Yeah, all the gods he, have telekinesis. He, on he this. gives the villain a thing to a coin so that the villain can find his revenge later. It, it, it makes sense if you watch the show. Um, he has a whole and then, and then Zeus just leaves, and I'm like, wait a minute. Zeus showed up while the guy was asleep. Zeus telekinesis a weapon away from him. Mm -hmm. Zeus easily overpowered. Why didn't Zeus take the goddamn sword back? He can't interfere. He can't interfere. Oh, yeah, he can't fucking interfere. He interferes all the time! Yeah, literally, this movie is just <laughs> Zeus protecting his son. This whole movie is the, the show. guy... The first half of this... Damn it! You are drunk by now. Yeah. This whole sh the first half of this show is the gods saying we can't interfere while interfering with everything, and the second half is fuck it, we'll interfere. We don't care anymore. Yeah, literally, it starts off with Zeus like sneakily being like, "I'm gonna help here, I'm gonna help here," and then Hera finds out. We have out. a rule against interfering, but I'm just gonna do. And then Hera finds out, and all the other gods find out like, "You can't interfere. You told us we can. We'll die if we do." And then. He's like, well, I guess I can't interfere anymore. And then Harris starts interfering. He's like, fuck it, I'm going like, to interfere. What's that Harris interfering with? And I'm going to interfere right back. Watch, look at all the interfering happening over yeah, here. Yeah, literally, he like does this <laughs> and, and that. And, and then the gods see that he interfered. And they're like, how could you interfere? How could you do that? Now we, we are, we're going to go down to the underworld and only some of us will still interfere while you interfere. And Hermes will interfere with, with Hera. But then Ares will interfere with Hermes yeah. interfering with Hera interfering with the humans while you interfere with what's going on. And then Apollo I, it's, almost It's died. insane. And a god, yeah, and oh, and let, let's talk about uh, the weapons that the gods are using. You know how Hermes uses a caduceus. You know how Apollo uses a bow. You know how Ares uses a sword. Everyone but Harry, Ares just has a sword. Ares, the one man who's supposed to have a sword, has a hammer. <laughs> I think it was uh, was it a hammer. I thought it was a mace. Either way, <laughs> either way, yeah, he he's supposed to. He has a blunt have a sword, object, and he doesn't have a sword. The Ares' go-to weapon is supposed to be a sword. By the way, I wouldn't mind if he had both. Like he's the god of war. I would. I I like the ideas of Ares where he pulls out all kinds of weapons, but all he has is a big. <laughs> so here's a funny thing about Heron, by the way. In the beginning of the, obviously, well, he threw that sword away. <laughs> Later, he starts using a bow and arrow, and he's like shooting this and uh, the main villain like a pro, like a pro from hundreds of <laughs> yards away. While the guy is flying and he's trying to dodge attacks, he's shooting these arrows almost directly at yeah, him. Yeah, the main character is a freaking dead eye archer. And then the moment he gets a sword, he gets his ass beat. And then later, a god gives him a bow and arrow again. I'm like, why did he ever have a sword? Yeah, I'm like, Zeus, why did you even make him a sword? He can't use a sword. Why didn't you make him a freaking bow and arrow? Do you know your son? Apparently you've been there for him most of his life. How do you not know this? Yeah, it was very funny. Who, who even taught him how to fight? I'm curious. I think he just learned from hunting, I guess. <laughs> like, they explain that Alexia knows how to fight because Chiron taught her. Oh, Star Wars. We gotta talk about the Chiron Star Wars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chiron is Lando Calrissian. He is straight up Lando Calrissian. So, um, Alexia, um, there's a, she had, uh, she starts off, she finds this map from one of the demons. Which is supposed to lead to the remains of the giants. Yeah, and they say that it, later they tell you if you destroy the giant remains, it kills all the people who ate the giant remains to become Basically demons. Basically vampire rules. Yeah, vampire yeah. rules for demons in a Greek mythology thing. Which of course, you know. Let's, makes your head let, spin. Let's, let's have a Greek mythology movie with Christian creatures that operate by Romanian rules. It was very, I mean, it was cool, but it was weird. Uh, but in she a has story this map, and she can't decipher story. it, so she has to get it to Chiron. Yeah, because And then Chiron she gets to this uh, centaur village, which yeah, is kind of cool. Yeah, it's a whole village of centaurs. It's cool to see. And I, then cent like, uh, Chiron gets One of the, the six creatures that appear in the movie. Yeah, one of the six out of a hundred plus. Which, yeah. why only six, but okay. I'll list the six when we're done um, with this. But he gets the map, he deciphers it, it turns out it's a star map based on a constellation. If you hold it up to the constellation, you can pinpoint where the locations are. It's like, okay, that's cool. As soon as he's done, uh, she's like, I knew only you could solve it. He's like, if only you knew. And then, so did no, you. Like he's saying, if you knew that, that it could only be me, surely your enemies did too. And as soon as he says that, a bunch of demons just appear. appear like they were they were squatting down waiting they were for like, him to tell her they were how like, the okay map we're gonna attack and once it's he's done explaining it's, we're gonna jump out it's gonna be so cool man we're all gonna jump out and yell surprise and then they come out <laughs> they all just suddenly stand up after he like he was giving them a signal with that line or something yeah. and then he says i swear to god word for word 
I had no choice. They arrived just before you did. That is exactly what Lando said. We literally were like, wait, was that an Empire Strikes Back reference? Exactly. It is word for word. I swear that's what they said in the movie. You could literally put his voice over Lando and it would not make a difference. Yeah, and then later, um, like, he had. And and, and then it gets even more Emperor Strikes Back because uh, then the villain comes up. And he says, give me the girl. And then Chiron says, no, she stays with me. This isn't word for word, but it's the same idea. No, she stays with me. That was the deal. And then, you know, the villain says, do you want her or the lives of your people? So basically, I am altering the deal. deal. Pray Pray I don't don't alter alter it any any further. further. It's exactly like, you know, know, like you said they would stay in my care. I am altering the deal. (laughs) That's the line from Star Wars. It literally (laughs) feels like a Star Wars scene. It's fucking Star Wars. There's there's fucking uh, two characters that are Han Solo and Chewbacca. I, 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 okay, the other guy isn't exactly Chewbacca, but he's a real tough guy, so I'm yeah, just going to say he's Chewbacca because of he's that. He's a tough because, guy, and he's friends with a smuggler. Yeah, he's friends with a guy who just seemed like he had a, a, a like carefree attitude. He's he like was a, a sm- prisoner, and I was like, this guy is Han Solo. And then later in the film, they say, so, so he's a smuggler. I'm like, oh, what? He is Han Solo! Yeah. And, and then the Chewie guy, he's not exactly like Chewie, but he's real yeah, strong, exactly. and he's said to have he, He's just really strong, tall, he's like a, and he's the smuggler's buddy. Yeah, he's a, more, so. he's a smarter, more human uh, Chewie, yeah, I would say. And, and and so then, of course, Alexi starts to remind me of Princess Leia because she gets captured and, you know, she has information that the evil people want. Yeah, it was very so Yeah, it? it was very But, you know, if you were going to copy a series, go And then Chiron, now. just like Lando, deceives the bad guys and goes back to the good guys and tries to do the right thing. Although the way he does it is actually pretty yeah, interesting. Yeah, he, he does it in kind of a cool way. He gives them a fake map and he, like, covers up I think the it, real one. I think he gave them the real map and then he copied them. No, it showed he covered up the real map. I thought what he did I was he... I don't know um, how he... So here, yeah, I missed it. Whatever. It so was. here's what I thought happened. He was mixing some stuff, and then he accidentally drops it on the ground, steps on it, and then steps on the map to make mm-hmm. a mold of it, and then gives them the real map. And oh, then that uses... that might be. That's what I thought. Because then the new map he gave them was completely different than uh, opens completely different than the old. Okay, you're you're probably right. So that's what I thought yeah, happened. I'm not gonna go back and watch. Yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I don't care. Then. Um, other star, yeah, so, like, the, the Lando Calrissian stuff, very Star Wars-y. Han Solo and Chewie, pretty Star Wars-y. The sword, when, when, she, when, when it's first gotten, it just glows blue, but then later in the movie, I swear to God, they pull it, the villain pulls it out, it's blank, and then suddenly a blue light from the base goes up and up. I said, that's a fucking lightsaber! Yeah. It cuts through the most <laughs> powerful material, and it glows blue going from bottom to top. It's a lightsaber. lightsaber. It's a goddamn lightsaber. It looks cool By the as way, fuck, though. It, nobody good in the film ever uses the sword. Yeah, it's only ever good. used for evil. The only so, time it's used like, for good is when Heron throws Heron it. Heron and Zeus fucked it up. They yeah. fucked everybody if, up. If Zeus didn't try to make that sword, this would show would have no plot. It, it, it was such a cool sword. We never got right. to see it used for the right reason. It was a, When it is used, it's in a pretty interesting fight, though. It's against, uh, what's his name again? The giant uh, Talos. Talos. Yeah, I keep yeah. wanting to say it's, Tantalus. It's used against Talos. Yeah, Tant- oh, that's the guy Tantalus who, is the guy who, who fed his children. Who like, yeah, fed his kids to the god. Yeah. fed Pelops to the gods, and now he can't. Um, um, but yeah, it's actually a pretty good fight. Uh, fight seeing Talos try and hit him, and then he like cuts him. And the cool thing is, when, whenever he cuts him, he starts bleeding like lava. Yeah, which really like which, which makes sense because uh, like I don't know, like you would assume automatons need fuel yeah, they or something need some running sort of through. Energy, this right. is the biggest one of all, so straight up like lava. Or maybe it's hot lead. Maybe something. it's hot lead, but it was yeah. melting the floor he was standing on. Yeah, so. but hot lead can do that. It too, can though, do so, that. Yeah, it, it, it was one Whatever of Whatever it was, it was really it was, interesting. It was I badass. I, I, I really liked Talos. One dumb thing, though. Talos is supposed to be guarding this thing yeah. full of souls. So, he's behind it. Pretend this is the thing that he's supposed to be guarding. And instead of standing in front of it. Yeah. Instead of here, standing, here's the thing right here. Uh, oh, they can't see Instead of standing here. in front of it. Uh, in I'm, front I'm of too it. close to your groin. I don't want that. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll pretend like I'm standing. Okay, okay. So this, here's the thing. And and this is you'd think Talos. Tal- Talos would be in front of it or above it. He's behind it doing a goddamn thinker pose. And th- and when you go near it, he doesn't awaken. When you pick it up, he doesn't awaken. When you step, when you grab it, pick it up, and step several steps back, he awakens yeah. in the slowest goddamn like, like, way. This is a little hit. <laughs> He's like, um, what is this? Are you trying to take... He doesn't say anything. He doesn't say anything, but basically... It feels like he's like, are you trying to take... And then he slowly stands What's up. What's going on here? I, kinda, <laughs> I get that he moves slow because he's bigger. He's, he's got slower processing like, ability than Mark from the room. It was literally <laughs> like he was delayed. 
Like, the guy gets almost to the entrance, and then he turns. You know, and we're watching, and he's just staring at Talos. I'm like, you know, you can just turn around and leave. Yeah, <laughs> like... yeah the villain is the, the villain stands there holding... I don't remember his name anymore. Uh, holding the cauldron. He's holding it, and the uh, exit yeah. is right behind him, and he could just, like, jump in the ocean. But instead, he's like... <gasps> yeah, he's like, just like... Uh, like normal uh, movie characters yeah. sees a big thing he's like oh, 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 you know what like, you know those parts of a movie or a show where you're yelling at the person just go yeah, <laughs> honestly though that character had such an interesting backstory halfway through yeah. we were rooting for him yeah we like he, he's he's the most developed character on the show no doubt uh -huh, um, yeah his yeah. backstory is really cool about his uncle that's the thing like a lot of times the villain is the most ironically character. He has the most Greek story out of everything. That's true. Yeah, it's a tragedy and a revenge tale. Like that's it's pretty goddamn Greek. Yeah, like his uh, his uh, dad gets killed by his mom, and then his <laughs> uncle tries to kill him uncle. as a baby. His uncle tries to murder him. He's raised by a midwife, and then the and midwife. Bears. Yeah, and raised by a midwife and bears, <laughs> which doesn't make sense. like he's he's fucking Tarzan yeah, he, for he the first. Literally, for when the they show him as a kid, he life. looks like Tarzan. He, he, yeah, he even looks exactly like Tarzan. And he's raised by a midwife and bears, and the midwife's sister helped them get out. But then the sister's husband was tortured until the sister revealed where they were. Then they killed the husband. They killed the sister. They showed up. They attacked him. They killed the midwife who raised him. He fought back. They killed the bears who raised him. Yeah. And then he just barely gets away barely. after... Barely. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> he just barely gets away because Zeus helps him. Um, and then he goes out for revenge to kill the man who killed the woman who raised him. And then he goes out for revenge to kill his uncle. So it, that's actually a cool... That's a it story was, yeah. right there. It was a, that yeah. could have been the whole show. It could have been about him. Especially since you find out later that Zeus has not only been protecting his own son, but he's been protecting this kid as well. Yeah, his half... The, uh, one thing we didn't explain: the main character and the villain are half brothers. Yeah, so because uh, their mother was impregnated by both her husband and by Zeus. Yeah, because her husband was a horrible person, and Zeus likes to yeah, cheat on his wife. He was an nice asshole kid. king. They make Zeus the loving, kind man. Yeah, here. he like he shows up and he brings her these really beautiful blue flowers, which apparently are. A symbol or something? Because I I don't know what what's up with those. Every Maybe time... they just grow at the top of that mountain. Well, no, because remember later when uh, Alexia is running hi, running away, he flicks his finger and a oh vine yeah of yeah he up. makes just more grow. So I I I don't know of blue flowers being Zeus's I mean, symbol. They I looked pretty. Maybe, maybe it's just one of the things I don't know. Like I know about the eagle being a symbol in that. Which shit. he turns into an eagle. A yeah, lot. he do, he does turn into an and eagle. And he has quite like eagle bit. pins um, that he wears. Or, oh, infuriating. Yeah. Uh, Hera's, like, commanding crows throughout the yeah. whole movie instead of peacocks. Her whole thing is peacocks. Her symbol is supposed to be peacocks, but her symbol is crows in this movie. She turns into crows, she commands yeah. crows, she, can watch she through the sees eyes of crows. through crows, every, like Odin. she lives and breathes crows. It's all about the crows. She's like, she, peacocks are too her, pretty. Her two things in this movie are telekinesis, she has telekinesis and crows. That's, yeah, it was, that's Hera in this film. The only thing telekinesis is weird. The only the symbolism thing I think they got right about Hera was the color purple. She wears purple. She usually yeah. wears purple in artistic representations of her. But like none of her other symbols show up. There's no peacocks. There's no golden throne. None of that. Um, they've got her jealousy. <laughs> By the way, there's a weird thing that they said in the film where uh, she goes before uh before i helped you fight the titan zeus i was the queen of heaven yeah i didn't get that and she said she said bef no she said before you took my hand in oh, marriage yeah. i ruled the heavens and i'm like did we read the same origin story what are you talking about yeah it really and threw it, me off because it's, it's like it's, are you still so the queen if you're married to him? it's like <laughs> zeus is literally god of the sky in mythology and you are queen of the heavens because you two are married did he in this version, did he marry you and then say, "Okay, your rank is freaking gone"? What what happened there? I don't Speaking know. Speaking of happened. people getting downranked, Zeus is not nearly as strong as he is in Greek mythology. Yeah, he's uh like Hera almost kicks his ass at one yes. point, which is a cool fight scene. It, it's but, a cool scene, yeah. Like but you're like Hera is Hera, Hera's telekinesis is insane. She's like picking up like the like all these giant yeah, boulders, like the <laughs> crashing them on him. She uh, like, she's pulling what's her name from X Men. Uh, uh, yeah, she's Jane. pulling some. Jean Grey, Jean Grey shit over here. Jane She's going full Dark Phoenix. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So. It's very off. 
off-putting. Yeah, it's a little off-putting. But it's cool. So it's like, we're, we're shitting on the film so much. Um, Show. I don't care anymore. <laughs> um, no. But uh, but it is it, she is an interesting character. But yeah, anyways, the main villain, uh, it, it, he could have been the whole story. And here's a weird thing about yeah, the main, main villain. villain was great. So his uncle kills him as uh, tries to kill, to him kill him as a baby, and it turns out his dad on, uh, only had him and his brother. Those are the only two kids. But by the time his oh, uncle tried to kill him, they say his uncle has fifty sons that already. Poor woman he's with. <laughs> we literally know. like, are you competing with Zeus? You have fifty kids. You have fifty. And sons. we know he had them before he killed it. Uh, tried to kill his nephew. We only see like seven of them. Why yeah. did they say he has fifty sons? And we know that he had them before that kid was born because when he, because uh, when that kid's a little kid. His the other ones are his sons and they're all grown up. Yeah, they get. I, I'm guessing multiple concubines. Yeah, or but something. still, were you trying to compete with Zeus? Yeah, I, it seems like you know, and that's another thing. Another reason the whole show could have just been about that one kid is because fifty sons. That's plenty of antagonists. Yeah, you could have had like series. the first episode as he finds out. Yeah. The second episode he ki- he kills one of his brothers and then he has to keep killing them until uh, until he gets to his dad or whatever. Or some of them are his allies, some are neutral. Yeah. Speaking of Hades, is neutral. Hades is neutral until the end, I guess. There's actually a pretty cool twist because the villain's been... But it also doesn't make a lot of sense. Because the villain's been using this Biden the whole series. And I remember thinking in my head, "Eh, Hades has a Biden. And also I was wondering, what's special about this Biden? It's it's very clearly a godly weapon. Because every time he wants to, he can uh, can pull it back to him. And yeah, like it's basically like Thor's hammer to him. It always comes back. It cuts through most things. It can't cut through Talos. He tries to. I'm glad they showed that because otherwise I would have wondered, couldn't you have just used that? But yeah, yeah, they they show he tries to. Talos just knocks it aside. So he needs the sword. Um, but yeah, it turns out at the end this is Hades' Biden. And yeah, he's been the using end, the whole time. Literally, he's and like, if you you've think I'm dumb for Biden. not guessing that, why did Hades just leak? Because the way he found it, he found the Biden just sticking out of a giant from the uh, giant yeah. war. So it's they, like, why didn't Hades pick up his Biden after the giant war? So what uh, propels this plot a little bit is that, uh, I mean, we already <laughs> told you about those giant souls being inside the box. But they did, we forgot to tell you is that they put all the giants' bodies in the ocean. Yeah, so could find yeah, them. important thing. But then, then after the giant war, the gods killed the giants, and then they just left them in the ocean. Yeah, and then later one of their bodies just happens to wash up in a cave. Yeah. And while the main villain is trying to uh, survive, he hears the voice of the giant being like, "Eat my flesh, yeah. you shall survive." And that's what kickstarts the whole. And literally, plot of he this. eats it, and then he pick, and then he sees right in front of him is a Biden sticking out of the body. And it's like, why did Hades leave his most yeah, like, powerful weapon? Especially if you can just recall it at any time. Yeah, why did he just? Look- it didn't. It didn't make sense. At the end, he enc- cool. at, at the after credit scene, he encounters Hades, and Hades takes it and he goes, "You've used my Biden." Well, and I remember my first, first thought was, "Oh, cool!" And my second thought was, "That doesn't make <laughs> yeah. any sense." Did you just not <laughs> need it anymore? There's a lot of that in this it show. There's a lot of that in this show. A lot of cool. That it makes, makes no, no sense. sense. <laughs> um, <laughs> one character who's very interestingly designed, not bad, not necessarily good, but I like it is Charon. Yeah, that's a that's Karen one of the is nightmare fuel. I, I said earlier there are pretty cool designs in the underworld. Yeah, Karen is very is very uh what's what's the word? Um da, 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 Kaiju. very Miyazaki movie? Yeah, very Miyazaki. Miyazaki movie, yeah. Very uh, Miyazaki very spirited away, yeah, very looked, Princess Mononoke looking like, Yeah, he looks more Japanese than Greek. Almost. Honestly, yeah. His design like, is really cool. He has like uh just like a full body like this. And then he has two arms just hang out here. Two, and then he has these two arms giant arms pushing like, the thing, the raft. And he doesn't just. Push and he's it. part of the raft. Yeah, he's also. part of the raft. And he's going like this, and he's like kind of crawling towards you in the underworld. And I was like, ah, yeah. Like I was like, it's cool, but it scared me a little bit. If I was in dead and I saw that, I'd be like, where am I going? Yeah, and also I, one of the giant designs I love is there's one that looks like fu- the giants look like Godzilla monsters. Right? Yeah, they li- well, there's or one that uh, looks- maybe uh, what's uh, the the. What's that one? Um, the Pacific Rim monster. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They kind of look like that. Yeah, they, they look like kaiju. Yeah, literally. The, like the giants look kaiju. like kaiju. There's this That's one why it's that looks like a giant floating man ray or oh, yeah, fire ray dan, cool. and it's so cool because its power is literally underneath it. It causes like an like anti gravity 
Feel, right? it, it's, it's, just, it's like an abduction thing. Yeah, it abducts you. It pulls you. you up into its wings, which then the wings, like this goo, like grabs like you and flesh dissolves you into the giant. I'm like, my God, and that's a horror movie monster yeah, in and of itself. The first time you see it, you see one of the gods get sucked in. And then right next to it, you see a skull just kind of sticking out partway through. And I was like, that's fucking scary. And, and then there's this one freaky looking one with a mouth that opens up and, and shoots a fucking atomic ray. Like a freaking death laser it beam kinda, out. Uh, if you've watched the Digimon movies, it kind of looks like Dio Boromon from Dio Boromon Strikes Back movie. Okay. Which, yeah. Um, oh, we, were, we said in non-spoilers something happens with two of the giants. Okay, so... Um, Apparently in the original Titan War, Zeus made allies of two yeah. of the giants, and, and that's that created, how they won the war. It created compassion and uh, yeah, and, un logic. and understanding and everything. And so apparently these two giants joined the gods. We never see them again. They're gone. Yeah. Literally, they're in the flashback. They helped end the war. Never show up. They ever. They don't again. show up for the final. They're battle. never mentioned. They don't show up. Period. Do they die of old age or some shit? Are they? Are they saving them for season two? Now let's explain why we don't know whether there will be a season uh, two. This show literally it, it uh, ends the, with a nice this, bow. This show has an ending. It, it before the end credit scene, it feels like okay, we're done. Then the end credit scene happens and. The villain has been killed. He's in the underworld. Yeah, he's literally a soul in the underworld. Yeah. On and, Charon's boat. And that's where Hades says, you've used my Biden. Well, and he says, like, he's you know, basically, he's going to the fields of punishment yeah. for what he's done. You can you see can it in the background. It. Yeah. He's like, he's going, oh, God, and is honestly, it as bad as I Honestly, with the design of it, kind of reminds me of Mictlan, which is the Aztec underworld. Interesting. Um, like, the way it's designed, like, I, I don't know if that was on purpose or not. Probably not. But, um, so then Hades says, I can actually... Spare, keep you from having to endure all that torment. You have to do, and I'm like, oh, he's gonna say what the plot of the next season is. He just says, he's Neil, and the villain's like, damn it! Yeah, because like, he's been literally because that's every time what he Hera kept telling him to do. Literally every time he runs into Hera, she's like, Neil, and he just kind of stands there, and he she literally telekinesis him to heal or to, to Neil. Neil. Yeah, and, and she and he fucking hates her. So, you can tell. So it. I can't fucking tell if there's gonna be a season two or not because that technically doesn't mean a season two it, yeah, just so hades telling him to kneel it's one of those things that could mean a season two but it doesn't have to at all is there going is hades going to be the villain of season two it's not that wouldn't necessarily be accurate yeah. but there's a million cool things you can do with that so i'm not necessarily against it either but if you're gonna have a season two please give it a bigger budget please make the animation yeah netflix smoother. this show could be a lot better if you actually like yeah if you really it. put if you're really willing to invest in it this could be really, really yeah, if, cool. If you want to invest in it, invest in it. Right, Don't go half. Right now, for me, it's play. a five. I think if the animation had been way better and characters didn't make stupid fucking decisions, I would have given this a seven or an eight. Yeah, it could have. Uh, it could have easily for me if you just did a couple tweaks here and there. You could have bumped it up to a seven like that. I'm just gonna let you guys know my allergies are acting up a little, so that's why I'm touching. So yeah, I'm sorry. There's a cat in here. Um, yeah, it, it walked by a, a bit ago. Okay, Do you oh, wanna, uh, go wash your. Uh, I I, I'll, I probably will, but there's one thing I want to mention too. When Hera, so Hera teams up with the villain, obviously. But one thing that happens a, a couple of times with Hera in the movie, and there's no reason for this. It just weirds me out. One time she shows up to talk to him, and she's just wearing the golden yeah, fleece. the golden fleece out of around, nowhere. No explanation. She's like, hey, no hey, buildup. Hey. Doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't do... I thought she was bringing it to him, and she was going to say, all right, this can help you. No, she's, she's just, just wearing it. She's just flexing she's just on him. Flexing like, on look him. At me. And oh. she's wearing it again oh. when she meets oh. the giants. Yeah, it, she just loves to flex on everybody. She's like, look what I have. Why is a, she wearing the golden fleece? There's an actually cool thing. Remember how he said that the uh, giant souls are in a box? So they show up, and of course, they're not going to immediately try to. Uh, to uh, they're not going to yeah, just Hera like. Hera gets the box from the villain. Yeah, they're not going to listen. Steals it from Talos. Yeah, they're not going to listen to the gods right away because they want to kill the gods. And uh, one of them tries to attack Hera, and she just touches the box, and all of a sudden his soul gets sucked back into the jar, and another one attacks, and that one's soul gets sucked back in. Actually, and that second one didn't even attack. She just did that. I think he was about to attack. Maybe. Because okay. it looked like it was opening its mouth to shoot oh, the okay. laser. Again. Actually, yeah, you got a point there. Um, and then she just pulls it back, and then all the giants kind of stop and, and all go. all the giants are like... They all go... Hmm. Like, the, the lead giant is like, okay, guys, maybe we should... And she gives them the souls back. And... Yeah, because uh, yeah, because in the first giant, giant war after the giants were killed, Hermes took their souls and put them in this yeah, thing. Yeah, so I guess it can And so now this whenever. thing apparently has the ability to give and take the souls whenever it wants. Which is fucking amazing. That's pretty damn cool. 
Again, I think it would have been cool if it was Pandora's box, but and so, but then again, that would technically be more inaccurate. So you know, um, I, I'm never satisfied. So re- uh, real quick, so as soon as everybody finds out Zeus interfered again, everybody except for Apollo uh, goes to Hermes. Uh, Everyone Paris. except Hermes and Apollo. Yeah, well, you don't. Or sorry, every. So you know, you see all the other gods go with Hera except for Hermes, and then Zeus says, "Follow her." So obviously, he's going to be like a double agent. Uh, mm-hmm. But she finds that out pretty quickly and has Ares try to uh, start beating the shit out of him. Yeah. And then Apollo comes in and saves him, and he runs away. But then Ares beats, beats the, the shit, shit out of him. Apollo, and I'm like, okay, Apollo for and Hermes. He I throws, guess is what and he happened. throws his body in the sea. And then and Hera, you think he's dead? I he thought really, he was. Yeah, dead. I thought he was dead. I was like, and then, shit, Apollo's dead. And then Hera says, "If you help me kill Zeus, I'll give you the." Uh, the she entire says to sea. the giants. Yeah, to yeah. the giants, I'll give you the sea. And and uh, Poseidon, Poseidon hears that, he's like, "Oh no, he's no, like, no, fuck that bitch, fuck that shit." Yeah, so apparently Poseidon had saved Apollo. Yeah. We didn't see this, but, but like, he just he shows comes up out of the sea and he has Apollo over his shoulder, and it's like, oh, cool. I guess he's alive. Yeah. Actually, yeah. only um, god who died in this movie yeah. was Zeus. Zeus. Yeah, everybody Zeus, else. Are... Zeus uses self destruct. Yeah, the only one who kills effective. Zeus is Zeus. Yeah, Zeus kills himself. He goes, "You know what? Fuck you. I decide how I." Yeah, he he. Um, the giants obviously betray Hera. They turn on her, and then Zeus saves Hera, and he self destructs to save her. Still gets her hand chopped off, though. I don't know if they're season two baiting with that or not. Um. Yeah. Oh, and it was the hand that had um. Oh, I just realized what the significance of Hermes' thing is. Oh, uh, what? It's what's... L- because, um... Yeah, Hermes it's had it for... It, it's not... We thought it was to turn invisible or to shapeshift. Uh-huh. It's what's controlling the souls. Is it? Yeah, because... Why did... Uh, that's why Hera wanted it uh-huh. so bad. And she never uses it for anything other than... At, for, Hermes is the only god who can control the souls yeah, at first. That makes then sense. Hera gets and starts controlling the souls. And then remember, the villain cuts Hera's hand off and takes it, and then he doesn't do anything with it. Apparently, yes. I think he took it just so he could control the giants. Yeah, and then I remember the main. Okay, so yeah, he has these bracers on his wrist, and the one on the right, I guess, is what lets him. Con- it's what souls. lets him manipulate souls. It would have been nice to tell us that show. Yeah, it took us. He never told us that. Three hours later, almost <laughs> to figure that out. Oh god. Um so yeah. I and, just figured this out. Yeah, that explains why she only used her ring. Because when we were talking about her hand getting cut off, I was like, why did he cut off her hand? And I just figured it out. So yeah, then the villain takes it and then he has the box and uh and the giant uh the giant is like, I hate you for having the box and he's right about to hit him and the Oh, and the main hero does a part where he takes the fight and he stabs himself and Oh yeah, yeah, like the he gets into a big fight with the villain and the villain has him held up against his body like this and so the hero takes the Biden and you think he's going to run it through both but he just stabs himself and we were like what's he doing? And, and he, he just two sits minutes there of flashbacks. With, yeah, a whole bunch of flashbacks and then he grabs it again and pushes it through both of them. And, and I'm like, like, why? Mm-hmm. What was up with the delay? <laughs> yeah, it was very weird. Why did you be just better to do it in one motion momentum, man? Use it. Yeah, um, and then so, right after that, he immediately just gains the ability to manipulate thunder like Zeus does. Yeah, it's really cool though. When it, it is. A, it is kind of cool. So yeah. Um, and then uh, I noticed this early, and I was like, "Why did he do that?" He uh, he takes the villain's hand and puts it on the box, and then he can pull the souls in. Oh, I, was I didn't why, notice that. Yeah, I was wondering why he was holding the villain's yeah, hand. Yeah, it's was, it's all about the bracer. Yeah, it's that about explains Hermes it. Yeah, because he had the bracer on it, and then he. And right before the, the giant, like, slams them down, he sucks all the giants Yeah, he souls sucks back. all the giants back into the box. And I was, um, and honestly, that's when my I was done with the show. I was like, okay, and so we were so worried it was going to end on a cliffhanger. Because yeah. when the villain gets the hand, it seems like it's about to end. Yeah, it seems And we're like, like oh, you, I, I said, you fucking better not. Yeah. You better not I think fucking doesn't. season two the next this scene shit. is it shows the, um... The hero come, waking up, and I'm like, are we still going? Yeah. I'm like, the I, villain waking. Or, no, the hero. Yeah, yeah. and I was like, okay, it's that's... It's very Return of the King. And I was like, <laughs> you know what? It's also, I kind of expected it a little bit. Um, they show some of the humans. The humans do more to end this fight than the gods do. The gods were kind of useless, except for Zeus and Hera. Well, they, they did stuff. But, you know, you kind of forget the humans exist while yeah. the gods are fighting. <laughs> when the humans are doing stuff, you're like, oh, yeah, the humans. When they're not doing stuff, you're like, oh, the Zeus. Gods, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, like I said, that was the big highlight of the show for me was the gods doing things. And I do think a big part of that is, again, like, 
the gods already have character before they even get on the screen because I, I know their stories. Yeah. So I already know what it... That's the problem with inserting, for me, with inserting unknown human characters into a mythology story. It's like, well, now I have to get to know these people. I have to... I have to and of course, that's the, sa that's the thing with any movie. But the advantage to a mythological story is with the gods... You don't have to establish their personalities. No, you, we you already know, know them. I, I knew who Zeus was. I knew who Poseidon was. I knew who Hera yeah, was. Yeah, I, I already knew what they all might do. They, in fact, they all have very small references to their past stories. I was like, okay, I know exactly what kind of Zeus this is going to be. I know exactly what kind of Hera he, this is going to be. He's a very nice Zeus. Yeah, he's he's uh, the nicer version in of Zeus. Mythology, but he, but he's always he still kind of does him. bad things. Like, he's yeah. still cheating on his wife. He's still, like, you know... I was like, like he... he I actually say he's a nicer version of Zeus than any other. Most, Just, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say he's nicer than the animated Hercules version. Well, I would say I would still say he's nicer than that because that one's just kind of a happy-go-lucky one, and he really just a Santa Claus. And, and the yeah. main reason I say that is because that version would only care about Hercules. He doesn't really. It doesn't seem like he cares about the rest of them. Uh, yeah, I guess but that's this point. Zeus actually not only helps his own son, but helps that other guy's son at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, he saves very, him. Very more. caring, Zeus. Yeah, yeah, it was a very, it was like, oh, well, that, he didn't need to do that at all. But, okay. Yeah. Not, it doesn't make you a good guy, but not as bad as you could have been a lord. Yeah. Avatar um, reference. If, oh, okay. So, um, one of the last things, we said there are six types of mythical creatures. Let's say what they are. All right. So, six, char six types of mythical creatures from Greek mythology. Uh, we got the centaurs. We got the centaurs. We got the satyrs. The, the satyrs are the guys who keep showing up and yeah, immediately little... getting killed. Like, they do nothing. They stand there and they get murdered immediately. I feel bad for them. I just remembered something I wanted to say real quick. So, okay. the humans are normal human size. The gods are all, like, 10 oh, feet yeah. or The 15... gods are 10 to 15 feet tall. Yeah, they're all and giant. One of the satyrs is freaking 25 feet yeah, tall. I don't know what... We thought satyr. it was a minotaur. Yeah, we thought it was a minotaur, <laughs> and then they zoomed in. It's like, nope, he's a satyr, and he, like, he shows up and he goes, Heh. and then an arrow just goes straight through his head, and he dies, and we're like, well, Yeah, we were like, there. well, that happened. <laughs> there goes that guy. And then this other satyr is just standing on the rear lines guarding something, and he gets fucking ambushed by six people. I went, ah! We're like, are the centaurs even evil? At yeah, that they're probably just hanging around, man. You're just murdering them. Okay, so centaur, satyr, um, griffin, manticore, pegasus. Um, the villain rides a manticore, the hero rides a griffin, some of the other guys ride a pegasus at some point. And automaton. Is that all six? I think that's all six, yeah. Oh, no, there's one more. Cerberus. There's, well, there's like a mini Cerberus in the And movie. we see two of them. I know we do because in the beginning you see one and uh, its left head gets chopped off. Well, it gets bitten off, but it doesn't have it anymore. And then later when the giants and half of the gods are going to attack Olympus, you see another one. And I looked very closely and it had all three heads. Yeah, the thing is the, the mini Cerberus was like built up with its appearance. Yeah, it and then it charges up. them and Heron immediately stabs it through one of its heads that and is. then leaves while it's pinned down. And the creature has to bite off that head. And then from that point on, it's just there. It's it just, just shows it's up. It's just a tracking It's dog. just walking around. Like, it's tracking. It, it doesn't really do anything okay, else. Okay, my job is done. Oh, and if we want to count this, um, in the underworld, remember, there's the soul of a minotaur. Oh, yeah, you do see a soul of a Yeah, minotaur, you see a soul of a But it doesn't do anything, yeah. so do I even want to count it's this? It's just kind of standing around like, well, <laughs> I'm dead. Technically, the satyrs didn't do anything either, so do I want to count that? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the centaurs didn't do anything either. I mean, Chiron, Chiron sort of does, but all the others... I thought the centaurs were going to join the battle or something. No. It's only the humans, gods, and giants. It's, yeah. Well, and the demons, but those are just humans who ate giants. Yeah, it's meat. humans and gods versus giants, demons, and a few traitor gods. Yeah. To be fair to some of the traitor gods, they thought Zeus betrayed them first, and then they... Yeah. Apparently Hera's, like, super... Like, we already said this. Apparently Hera's, like, really strong, because there's a point where... Zeus says, uh, you're a fool to follow her. And, and then like, Poseidon says, only a fool would make her angry. And we're, we were both <laughs> like, is, is Hera scary? I mean, I, I can get being scared of Hera, but in actual mythology, everyone's way more scared of Zeus, as they should be. Yeah, Zeus, in actual mythology, can't Zeus beat up every other god I, I've himself? read myths, it's a little contradictory, because I've read myths that say Zeus alone is stronger than all the other gods put together. But then there's also a myth that says the that Poseidon can be a match for Zeus. But to be fair, mm. these are written by different uh, poets throughout history. So yeah, maybe so. that's part of the reason why. But they, but they definitely, it's definitely not like. So in but most mythology, Zeus is at the top, and then Poseidon and may, and maybe Hades can be, uh, match him. 
But in this, apparently, Hera's just as strong as Zeus, and no one else is as strong as those two. Honestly, this, which this is show is composed of a lot of ideas that could yeah. be their own show. It really could opinion. have been its own the show. The villain's entire story could have been its own show. Um, honestly, the gods having inner conflict and a civil war, that can be its own show. That's yeah, pretty that, Game of Thrones. It, like I said, that's what I was talking about when they first show Hera being like, I see what you're doing. It looks like she's plotting against Zeus, and then... Zeus has to like keep the gods from betraying him and leaving him and then then they do i was like okay this is very interesting political fighting but it it doesn't do much i, I you know now i want to see game of olympians yeah game <laughs> like, of olympians game of be... olympian thrones yeah like uh, that would be amazing because there are enough there are enough gods for there to be tons of characters and you even see that in this film there's dozens of gods in the background there's god five and god, god. six it's, God six will never make me stop being annoyed. I was and, yeah, the whole rest of the movie I was like, oh, oh, it's God six, or I would say Hephaestus, and then they'd go, no, no, it's God six. And I was like, ah, I'm a fool. Yeah, literally, <laughs> here's the worst part about them calling God six. There's a scene where it shows Zeus and obviously Hephaestus standing right next to each other, having dialogue, and the subtitles just says God six. Yeah, we we mentioned that earlier. Well, yeah, yeah, I know, but the reason it's not as bad for the other ones because it's a part where there's a crowd of them and just them saying he should. Oh, there's a part well, where Her- yeah, in the crowd I kind of get it, but like there's yeah, a part when, where when Zeus it was literally Harry Zeus and, and Hephaestus just talking, like yeah, he could have just, just been, called like, him Hephaestus. God Six. It's dumb to be. Here's the thing: they never call him Hephaestus in the film, yeah. but they mention the name Hephaestus a couple times. And you see him with the hammer, you see him with the goggles, you see him with robot stuff. Yeah. So it's like what. Yeah. Um, I, I think know. that's all we can say for spoiler stuff. Yeah, that's that's all I have to say about the film. We've now been recording for over an hour. Uh, film. That's all I have to say about this show. If you saw the show, let us know what you think of the show. Yeah, this is a long freaking video, but we had a lot to say. It's eight up. It's an eight episode show. There's more to say. We could split it up into a spoiler free like review. Was, if and this a was a movie, review. there'd be less. Like my over the moon discussion is thirty minutes long. Um, but yeah, we can. Uh, so we might split them up. Oh, maybe if you want. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what we thought of the show. Um, let us know what you thought of the show. Overall, good, fine. Yeah, good, yeah, fine. I show. enjoyed it enough. Watch it if you want. Don't, Don't watch, watch it alone. It alone. Yeah. Don't that's... watch it alone. If you watch I, it alone, I would you not will... have enjoyed this alone. It's a lot easier with someone to talk to because then you can yeah. be like, I don't like this. If you're just. If you've ever watched something that's okay alone, you know how it feels. It, you it's sit, fun to laugh like, at all the Star Wars stuff and how many times it feels like a Moses movie. Uh, if you watch it drunk or high, you would mm-hmm. have a lot of fun uh, with it. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I think that's all we have to say. Yeah, that's all we have to all say. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Hey, everyone. Wow, we went on for quite a while. Well, for those of you still here, thanks for watching all the way through. Since you stayed until the end, I bet you'll want to watch these videos from the Mythology Guy. If you watched Blood of Zeus, please comment down below. We would really love to hear what you have to say. And once you're done with that, please click that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.